Maybe he ate while sitting in front of the messenger, may peace be upon him. If a companion had narrated, I sat in front of the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, on such and such a day and drank wine, then it would have become a hadith, in that word, would the alcohol be halal? No it wouldn't happen. Because later alcohol has been strictly prohibited. Just as the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, could not stop the drinking of a thousand years on the first day, similarly he could not stop the marriage of a thousand years on the first day. At first the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, allowed Muta's marriage, but later forbade it. So some hadiths can be found in favor of Muta marriage. Similarly, the hadith of prohibition will also be found later, it could not be spread on Facebook or Twitter at that time after the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, forbade Muta marriage. Could not be shown on any TV channel. Many companions did not know about the prohibition. It is not even possible for a companion to know every word of the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Many continued the ancient practice of Muta marriage as halal until the time of Abu Bakr. Why only Abu Bakr's tenure is still continuing. After Umar became the caliph, when Muta became convinced of the Prophet's peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, prohibition on marriage. He announced that it should be stopped. Umar did not stop anything in Islam. Muta marriage is forbidden in Islam, so he stopped it, Allah's Messenger said, O mankind, I permitted temporary marriage but Allah has forbidden it, now, till the day of resurrection. So free those who now have such temporary wives, and do not take back the dowry you have given them. Is Muta marriage halal or haram in Islam? Muta Naika means joy marriage. Cause in Bengali, marriage for fun. The truth is, temporary marriage is nothing but masti, but, keep this in mind, Islam did not invent this muta marriage. This muta marriage was common in Arabia long before the advent of Islam. Yes, in Arab societies where female children were buried alive, this is the practice of muta marriage. Islam can be blamed for this muta marriage when there is something written somewhere in the Quran or Hadith to support it, muta marriage is forbidden in Islam. In Islam, grave, shrine worship is forbidden, usury is forbidden, alcohol is forbidden. Even after this. Muslims are doing these things equally. Those people are responsible for that, not Islam. Similarly, many Muslims practice muta marriage even though it is forbidden in Islam. For this, those people should be held responsible instead of Islam, we used to marry by contract, muta, in exchange for a few handfuls of flour. At that time the Messenger of Allah was alive among us. This system continued till the time of Abu Bakr. But after hearing the incident of Haris, Umar forbade this type of marriage, it does not say here that the Prophet, PBUH, asked Muta to marry. It is said that during his lifetime people used to marry Muta. People used to marry Muta until the time of Abu Bakr. Umar prohibited this arrangement. Moreover, people used to collect small dowries. Semen atup, jinamaj, wheat etc., three questions remain here. Muta marriage is prohibited in Islam, why was the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, silent even when Muta's marriage was in front of his eyes, how is this Muta marriage going until the time of Abu Bakr, who is Omar who prohibits anything in Islam? He is not a Prophet, we can compare this to drinking alcohol. Alcohol was not forbidden in the first period of Islam. Many companions will be found who were once regular drinkers.